Wizard of West LA here. Today let's look at the Raspberry Pi Pico, which is a new microcontroller just put out by Raspberry Pi. And in this controller, this one is 21 millimeter by 51 millimeter, has an RP2040 microcontroller chip, which, is, which was designed by Raspberry Pi in the UK, has a dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus processor, and this clock runs <clears throat> 133 megahertz. It has 264 kilobyte on chip as SRAM, two meg on board. It's got 26, it has 26 multifunctional GPIO pins, including three analog inputs. Let's look at the back. The back has all the pins that are listed, so you can take a look at the pins. I'll put it up there a little bit closer so you can see. Two UARTs, which is nice, two SPI controllers, and two I2C controllers. Remember the other video we did uh, with Arduino? Those have the those uh, ITC controllers. 16 PWN channels, that's nice. One USB controller, and it has eight programmable PIO state machines for custom peripheral support. This USB port on the other side will read keyboards and mice too. It's very interesting what you can do with this. What I like, input power, 1.8 volts to 5.5 volts DC. And it has a thing called castellation on the corners, you can see, so you can solder this onto other soldered onto other chips and also other boards that you may have and it has its own temperature sensor and it has some integrated integer and floating point libraries on this chip so let's get to the fun part so let's do a simple project with this microcontroller here's a really quick wire up you can see you have four on this lcd you have ground VCC, SDA, SCL. Ground goes to pin three, and the red one, the red one goes to the top one, which is VCC positive. The other ones, you have SCL and SCA. If you're looking on this side, SCL goes on the second pin right here, and SDA goes on the first pin. And that is the hookup for the screen. Another quick note, if you have a hard time viewing anything on the screen, very lightly get a Phillips head screwdriver and turn that really slow and it will adjust the brightness. So here's how you prepare your Pico for programming. Hold down this button. And as you hold that down, plug the Raspberry Pi into your USB port. And then when you plug it in, let the button go. So now it shows up as a removable drive. So we double click that. Inside, you will find two files. Click on the web one, the htm. And that file opens the web, which has everything about this device that you need to know. Really useful. So you scroll down and you use getting started with micro Python. Click on that. And then there's the UF2 file. Click on that, it downloads. And then you open your, it shows in folder, it goes and downloads. You'll see that bottom file, the RP2 file. Drag that to the Pico and it will reboot after it copies. And now it is prepared for programming. That is the folder with the project that you downloaded from my website. And what we're going to do is put those files in the Pico. This is how you do it. Open Thony. And make sure the bottom has the micro, the bottom right has that micro Python. And you'll see where it's gray, that means it's active. 
So now let's go to File, Open. You'll see a choice with an open. Now it says computer or the Python, pick the computer. Go to that folder and pick the first one. Double click it or open. The file appears, do not change any code on that. And now we're going to do a trick, file and then save as and then choose the bottom one which is the Pico and for the name title it exactly what that name is type each letter and make sure you put a capital D for driver end it with py dot py hit OK look at that now it is in there close that now go to open load the second file go to this computer whoops it changed folders find the folder load the second one go to open or OK now go to the Pi the Pico type in the same file name that's displayed on there temp display with the capital T the D end it with PY hit OK now it goes to the Raspberry Pi and now when you hit run it will run now it is running on your Raspberry Pi Pico it displays the temperature in Celsius and in Fahrenheit and these are some extra parts I added on here and that is the Raspberry Pi Pico in about seven minutes. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give us a hands up and also subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a lot of projects with this new microcontroller. Remember, keep on learning.